I'm not much of a Sonic boy. Yeah, I've dabbled in the ancient arts of the Sonic trilogy and Knuckles, but it's never been more than a couple levels or so before I gave up. Those games are not easy to keep playing. The rush of going fast, punctuated by the asinine enemy placements and the butanine waiting parts and or water. Going slow feels way slower than it actually is in a Sonic game because of the top speeds you can reach. The contrast between these two elements of the game is big. Maximum saturation, large laughs and small dicks. It's a decently fun experience to do a Sonic. It's not terrible, but you know, I've never really been into it. But now, there's this new one, and it's more than decent, people say. It's great! And that's big news, because to me, Sonic is known as largely shit. Someone says Sonic, and I think, ha! So when a new Sonic game comes out and people say it's good, I can't believe them outright. It just doesn't seem like a smart thing to do. Yeah! I'm Sonic! <laughs> Now obviously, Sonic Mania is aiming to be a proper, passion-filled, classy throwback to the first few Sonic games. But does it succeed there? I don't know, I haven't played that shit. My first Sonic game was Shadow the Hedgehog. Ooh-wee! All I'm saying is that the nostalgia baiting doesn't affect my opinion. I mean, if anything, it hampers it. I associate all these classic Sonic sounds and music with YouTube videos more so than sitting in front of the TV playing a game. I don't know what makes these games good, all I know is that I didn't like them and I don't care, but going into this, people that I trust have said it's good, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a good old try. I'm gonna see if this game is better than the Sonic games of yore, to the point where a non-Sonic fan can appreciate them. Is that how it is? Is that what I'm getting at? Probably not. Look at that title, you know what that title says. From what I can see, Sonic Mania tries to take the best elements from Sonic 1, 2, and 3 and puts them together with brand new stuff that fits right in. The new and the old blend together well, the art is smart, and the animation has imagination. But personally, fuck it. There are elements here that I really have a problem with. Despite the new level of polish, despite the entire point of it being similar to the old Sonics, I really think they should have taken the time to rethink some extremely dated design philosophies that would make this game leagues better without sacrificing the nostalgia aspect. It could be my favorite game ever. But, all right, let's just explain. Does anybody know why video games have lives and game overs? If you think about it, it's all based on arcade machines, pinball machines, public entertainment kiosks. You go out to a place and there it is. You put some money in and you're given some lives, some chances. If you fail too many times, you lose. Game over. You have to move out of the way. Someone else has money to part with. It's a sound business strategy. You need a limited amount of chances in order to extract money from people. And once people aren't willing to put money in anymore, they leave and some new guy can play and spend their money. Lives and game overs aside from that have no place in a video game. You may think they do because you're so used to them, but really think about what they add to the experience. When you die, you go back to the last checkpoint. You're already losing progress by messing up. That's normal, everyone's okay with that. But when you lose all your lives, you go way back to the beginning of the zone. No matter how far you had got in that zone, whether you'd beaten the first boss or not, all the way back. As the game progresses, the levels continually get longer and more difficult, so getting to the second act boss becomes more of an endeavor, and it's more challenging, and that's appropriate. A game should get harder as it goes along, but when game overs exist and put you back at the beginning of a zone, all I can feel is, fuck this. I don't want to go back and do it all again. Especially if the midsection boss is really difficult, like this helicopter thing, like you're running and you keep losing your rings but you can't pick them up because you're running. Fucking sucks. Dying and losing progress is supposed to feel bad. You're supposed to feel like you messed up and you should try harder next time. The game overs remove so much progress that it feels like nothing but a deterrent. I feel, literally, like I just lost an arcade game and have no money left in my pockets and I have to go home. Except I bought the game. It's not in the arcade anymore. It shouldn't have arcade sensibilities built into it. And I'm not just ragging on Sonic Mania. I'm talking about every single home console video game that has ever done this. Lives with game overs where you go really far back are terrible and they should never exist. Something that does this better is any of the Dark Demon Blood games. Yes, even Dark Souls 2. 
In those games, you go through an area and you reach a bonfire or open up a permanent shortcut to a later part of the level. You've made progress and it feels permanent, and that keeps your spirits up. No matter how many times you die, and oftentimes you will die a lot of times, you're always making progress. If Dark Souls was built like an arcade game, the bonfires would be temporary checkpoints, and after dying too many times and getting a game over, that progress would be removed. Back to Firelink Shrine you go. Try again, asshole. It would be hugely dissatisfying. Most people would go hollow right then and there and never pick up the game again. Another example of a game that really shines by doing away with game overs is Rayman Legends. In that game, you just keep going in the level until you win. If you die, you go back to the beginning of the room. When you get to the end of the room, that's it. You've got, you've, you've beaten it. You've beaten the challenge and you are now good enough to get through that challenge. There's no reason for you to do it again. You've done it. You managed to do it. The whole thing is that the area between each checkpoint contains a satisfying amount of challenge, and that's the crux of the issue. Sonic Mania has checkpoints, and they are individually satisfyingly spread out, but because game overs are in play, the checkpoints aren't actually the checkpoints. The checkpoints are the save files. You do Act 1, then a boss, Act 2, the second boss, and then you end the zone, and the game is saved. Doing all of that in one go without dying is ridiculous. So, the zone has checkpoints dotted around, but with the constant fear of a game over hanging over your head, making all the progress meaningless, the checkpoints are almost bittersweet. Well cool, I got here, but I only have one life left. I don't think I can complete the rest of the zone. Lives are hard to find, and gathering a hundred rings? Forget about it. You're not supposed to keep your rings. Just give up, man. Just give up. Just die. Oh, it feels bad. I will say it heightens the tension when you're on the last boss with one ring and one life, but it's not worth the dissatisfaction of having to do the difficult lengthy stage all over again. The reason that they have checkpoints in the level is because they know doing the whole thing over again is not what you want to be doing. It sucks. The other thing I feel they could have changed to make this not a problem would be the zoom in on the screen. Sonic moves real fast. In some areas, the camera deliberately has trouble keeping up with him to emphasize how fast Sonic goes, but the obvious problem is that you don't have enough time to see what's coming up ahead. And that's okay for the first few stages where spin jumping takes care of any enemies you might run into, but once they start introducing enemies that damage you before you can damage them, the entire game slows to a crawl. This is something fundamental about the 2D Sonic games, and I don't think changing it would even be possible without making it a different game entirely. Zooming out the screen so you can see more of what's coming seems like the simplest solution. Redesigning levels to focus on cool speed moments rather than cautious pinpoint accuracy would be better, but I'm sure some people like the slow parts, or would at least defend them. The main thing about all of this is that the game is fun, but getting a game over is so much of a huge buzzkill that if they remove that one aspect of the game, I'd recommend this to everyone. As it stands, let's just say this. It's Sonic. If you've played the original three Sonic games, and played them recently, and enjoyed them wholeheartedly, then of course you should buy it. This was made for you. But if you're like me, and you don't particularly enjoy the original Sonics, but have heard that this is much better and want to give it a chance, I'm not so sure whether you should buy it. It's extremely polished and extremely beautiful, but it's still fundamentally not what you're looking for. Uh, it's a good game, though. Hey, guys. Uh, if you hated everything I said, uh, let me know by using as many swear words in the comments as, as possible. That's not hyperbole. That's just, I would rather you say swear words than try to be smart and disprove what I've said. Because you can't. You can't do it. Everything I've said is true. It's just that you prefer it like that and I don't. So if you don't like what I said, just say as many fucks as you possibly can, and uh, that'll be that.